Windows 8 Consumer Preview Build 8250 Tips, Tricks, and Walks Through Titled Most Keyboard Meets Metroid Interface Drag up <coughs> Sign in this is a start screen. I'll do this in two parts. I'll show the desktop first, and then I'll show the start screen second, and then I'll mix them together. So here's the desktop. Let's let's go over a few things on how to use the desktop in Windows 8 with the mouse and keyboard only. We'll start with the corners. Bottom left corner is a start screen. When you right click it, you get your you get your uh, power user options such as programs, features, network connection, power options, event viewer system, device manager, disk management, computer management, command prompt, command prompt with administration rights, task manager, control panel, Windows Explorer, search, run, and desktop. The top right the top right shows running programs you can grab it bring it or attach it to your ta uh, to your um, alt tab your um, alt tab viewer the right side top top right bottom right brings up the charm bars and here you got your search share start devices and settings you click on settings you got control panel personalization PC information help down here you got network volume, display, brightness, settings, notifications, power options which includes sleep, shutdown, restart, keyboard language and more settings. More settings brings up one of two control panels. So that's how you get around the Windows 8 desktop. Four corners, charm bar, and the task, and the um, application alt tab manager nifty little feature the top right of the desktop or any application such as metroid applications of the desktop grab it throw it down close it that's the same with a metroid application if you got a metroid application that's fully opened alt f4 works such there or grab it at the top swing it down throw it away. Or dock it. So that's how the four corners of the borders of your windows works. In the start menu, start screen, you got your desktop running applications in the top corner. If you don't have running applications, If you don't have running applications, it should be your desktop, desktop down at the bottom, top right, charm bar, same thing. You can left and right just by going to the borders, or you can grab the bar, bottom right corner, shrinks it out. You can adjust your categories. You can right click, go name group. You can click, drag to move them, create a new one, such as that. Right click anywhere, brings up all applications, same thing, left, right, drag the bar. Bottom right corner shrinks it, pick it, zoom in. Right click, gives you options, unpin from start. Pin to start, uninstall, open new window, run as administrator, open file, right click, right click on it again to get rid of it, back to the start menu, actually I want to show that one more time, right click, all apps, start menu down there, desktop up there, and switch bar, it works flawlessly, or you can go here, click on start, Mm -hmm. 
so that works flawlessly. So, for the most part, you really don't need a start menu, and you definitely don't need to start orb in the bottom left corner, it's useless. People that can't grasp the concept or think running Windows 8 is hard with a mouse and keyboard, it's pathetically easy, and it's even it's even more pathetically easy as a power user to work around and work with Windows 8. You can't screw it up. It's fast, it's fluent, it's quick with a mouse and keyboard. In fact, I have a Windows 8 tablet, and I prefer using my desktop over my tablet to run Windows 8. Because using it a tablet you don't get many features if for an instant tablet users can't right click down here it's not possible because on a tablet you don't get this start screen in the bottom left corner when you move your finger over there so that's one feature that's not there you don't get the um, top right corner either with the tablet with the tablet when you're touching the only thing you can do is swipe the charm bar out so that kinda sucks but it works for tablet and desktop. I think it works way better for a desktop than a tablet. <laughs> way better. Also, for naming for people that can't get it, can't quite figure it out yet, put all your old start menu items under the start screen and then just call it the start menu. And then, then put a little note saying type to search. Because when you just type, you can search. such as air, application settings, files, have none. Applications, and I pinned my uh, most used applications. Oh, guess what? You get to see Windows locking up. Oh, there it goes. It, it unlocked. Applications, your most, your most used ones, pin them there. And then put a note, if you can't remember, put a note. Like I did, right click for all programs. Eventually, it'll get grinded into your head. So, I'm just going to quickly review desktop. I'm going to open this up quickly. I'm going to quickly, quickly, really quickly review. Okay, so desktop, bottom right corner, right click. There you go. Top right corner, application, drag, draw, or, or dock. Top right corner. Bottom right corner, charm bar, grab, throw, closes the desktop. S start menu, bottom right corner, top right corner. Same thing as in the desktop, up down, gives you your running applications, charm bar again. Right click all programs, right click on an item to get the main, to get the options. Right click again to lose it, bottom right corner, shrinks it, grabs it, moves it, right click, option name. Right click all programs, same thing, left right, left right, grab bar, shrink it, pick a category, right click, gives you options again. Before you know it, running application metroids, drop it, throw it, before you know it, you're back at the desktop. Very fast, very fluent, not very hard to grasp. Hope you enjoyed.